Okay, I'm going to do some work on the steering now. It's been raining outside for a few days. It's going to rain tomorrow again, so I'm, I'm going to do some work inside. And I'm going to start working on the steering. And I'm going to build my steering a little bit different. Well, I don't know if anybody ever built it this way. I've never seen it done. So what I did here is I used a little, some square tubing. And I welded some nuts onto it. I let it hang out a little bit so the pivot can, um, it will raise fairly good. I'll remove this bolt and drill the threads out so I can put um, a 516 stud right through it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another square tubing and put it here and with the same kind of pivot on the bottom but the bottom one is more going to be for a latch so i can just remove the pin it'll have like a c clamp in there uh no nuts and bolts just something i can pull out, out quickly and um this way i remove the pin from the bottom the steering wheel plate is going to be attached to here the steering wheel will be right here and once I remove the pin, what it'll do, the steering wheel will tilt up, words, like this. So the steering wheel will be out of the way so I can get in and out. And then I can just put the steering wheel back in place and put the pin back in. So um, there's a little bit of more work to it and everything. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do it. And what, what's going to happen is... I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not going to use square tubing all the way for the steering wheel because I need to make like uh, bushings or something for it to turn. So I'm going to use like one inch pipe, round tubing. I'll cut this over here and then I'll weld the one inch round tubing to it for the rest of the steering. So it'll be, this part here will probably be about, I'd say maybe four, four and a half inches close to the steering wheel and then the rest will be round pipe and i think this will work out great uh i'm gonna start making the other pieces if it's something too complicated or uh, something that i had to fabricate really like difficultly or whatever i'll show you how i did it if not i'll just gonna, i'm just gonna do it and uh and i'll show you the product how it came out but i think this will work out really good I did it like this because I don't want no play whatsoever here in the steering. I don't want this to wobble back and forth. I want completely no um, no play whatsoever. I think this would work out perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any uh, flat stock bar. So what I'm going to do to make the plate, the mounting plate for the steering wheel, is I'm going to get two pieces of angle iron. I'm going to weld them together on both sides. And it's about, I need two and a half inches round. So this is just over two and a half inches. And then what I'll do with the cutter, I'll cut it as round as possible. And then I'll take it to the grinder and grind it nice and round. I'll show you the finished product once it's done. Okay, here's what I did so far with the shaft. Uh, let me just take this off. I welded nuts on one side here on the square tubing. Uh, I'm going to grind this nice and round. I'm going to weld the nuts here. I'll grind that and that nice and round. And then on the piece that's going to attach to the steering wheel plate, I put a quarter inch by one inch flat bar on one side. And what this is going to do, this is going to go right here. I drilled the holes for it. This is going to go right here. The studs are going to go through it. I just lost the other stud. Where the hell did it go? Cool. 
Okay, the reason why I didn't roll the plate like this on the other side yet is because now I have the holes. I have the holes in this one. So once I roll the pl a plate like this on this side, I can, this will be a guide to drill the holes on the other plate. So what happens here is this plate, the reason why I welded it to here is because it overlaps now the bar here. So this is not going to have any movement whatsoever sideways. And once I weld the other plate here, this thing is going to be so solid. And what happens is I'll take one of the, the bottom stud out and the steering wheel will just Give me a second, I did it the, the wrong way. So I take one of the studs out. And what's going to happen is the steering wheel will just for, fold back. And then I'll bring the steering wheel back, put the studs through. Drill a hole in the stud here. I'll put a pin through it. A cut, it's not a cut pin. I don't know what they call it. It's like a, a sort, some sort of clip. And this thing, up and down, has no movement. Sideways has no movement. And side to side has no movement. This is going to be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and weld now the other side on here. And uh, I'll show you the final product. Okay, I went ahead and welded it. And this is going to come out perfect. There is no play whatsoever side to side, and I don't think there will ever be. These plates here are only welded on one side of the bar, and they overlap the other one. So not only do the bolts keep it from uh, wobbling, the plates also help a lot because they're right tight up against. And I'll show you how this works. So, this is the plate that I made out of two angle irons, two pieces of angle iron. I, obviously, I'm going to grind this all down, grind the wall down, make it look nice and everything. But how this is going to work, this plate is going to go on here, then the steering wheel. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, mentioned, there's no plate whatsoever, side to side, up and down, nothing. What I do is I take one pin out, and the steering wheel will fold back. Okay, right now it's touching the welds of the nuts, because I welded the nuts together. I don't want to make it look like it's actual, actual nuts. So I welded it, then I'm going to grind it down nice and round and everything. But that's how it'll go. So the steering wheel will actually lift right up to give me room to get in and out. And then I just bring it back down and put the, the stud back in. And she's solid back and forth. I'll show you when I'm done putting the plate on and everything when this is all cleaned up. I think that's going to come out really, really good. Like I said, I haven't seen anything done like this before, but maybe there is. Somebody has done it. And obviously, I'm going to round these out. This is going to be close to, this, to the steering wheel, so it's going to look, it's, it'll look pretty good once it's done. There's the two pieces of angle iron I welded together. I just grinded it down. And 
it's two and a half inches, just like I want it. And what I'll do is I'm going to drill the holes for the steering wheel and weld it to the shaft or the tilt shaft. Here's what the tilt steering is going to be. At the plate for the steering wheel here. Um, you can see it's not actually straight. This is going to be on an angle like this, but I tilted this a little bit downwards. I don't want the steering wheel to, I don't want to be driving like this. I want to, I want to be driving like you're driving the car. So this is actually a little bit on an angle. As you can see, there's no movement up and down or sideways whatsoever. This is really, really nice and strong here. And what's going to happen is once this is on, steering wheel is going to be on here. I'll remove the bottom pin and tilt the steering wheel up. Actually, this will be like that because of the way the steering wheel is. The steering wheel will probably hit over here. And this will be like that. And then I just bring the steering wheel down and put the pin back in. And what I'll do with the pin is I'll put a little chain here and attach it to here somehow so when I take the pin out I can just let it go and it'll stay there I don't have to I'm not gonna be end up losing it or anything and then at the end I'll draw I'll drill a little hole with the clip I can't figure out what the name of those clips are because if I could I'd be able to find them but they're like um, they use them for hoods of uh, sports cars and I'll do the same with the pin. I'll put a little chain on the pin and hang it from here. So when I take the pin out, I can just let it go. And I won't lose this pin and I won't lose the, the clip. Yeah, but that's how it's going to be. When I'm ready to put it on the go-kart, I'll make another, another video of it. By the way, I'm going to use... I'm going to use, this is gas pipe. It's, uh, you can see it's threaded here. I already cut the thread off this end. This is gas pipe. But this is just perfect. That this one inch pipe fits exactly nice and fit inside here. But what I'm going to do with this, I'm not going to use it as a, a hole. What I'll do is I'm going to slice this in half. Use it as a bushing. The bottom, I'll weld to the, um, the support. And the top, I'll put like two wings on it with two bolts on each side. And whenever I want to take the shaft off, I just take those two bolts off. I can take the top off, lift the whole shaft and steering wheel off. That's what I'll do. And yeah, it's coming along. I just wanted to show you exactly what I, what I was doing with the tilt steering and everything. Obviously, it will look better once it's on the, the go-kart. And I hope this helps you guys a lot. I, I really honestly like the tilt. So thanks for watching. If you want to see the, the finished product on the go-kart, subscribe, like, and I'll see you back on the next video.